pray that 2017 will end your struggles. Amen. I pray that <laughs> the year 2017 will mark the end of your struggles in life. The struggles of your life are declared over tonight. And in the year 2017, you won't miss anything that belongs to you. Every day of 2017 shall be Christmas for you. You know what Jesus said? He that sent me is with me. My father has not left me alone because I do always the things that please him. And in his presence is fullness of joy. And on his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. No more pleasures for you. When you do what pleases him, you enjoy his presence that guarantees pleasures forevermore. Noiseless breakthroughs. Amen. Supernatural encounters. That's what happens in his presence. The year 2017 shall be your year of laughter. Before you recover from one laughter, the next one has landed. It shall be your year of unending testimony. Your obedience will keep paying for you. In the name of Jesus, this first day demand is turned to a testimony in your heart. You will never miss your steps again. You will never misinvest your energy and resources again. You will never take a step of regret again. Every yoke of the enemy that may still remain on your life will be destroyed right now. For surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, nor divination against Israel. Numbers 23, 23. Now, what that means is this. Every satanic attack on any area of your life, you see them no more again forever. Every marital spell shall be openly broken this morning. Every business and career spell, you see them no more again forever. Every spell of lack and want and begging and squatting and struggling will be destroyed in your life today. Everyone called solitary under any marital spell, your year has finally come. Therefore, whatever represents the finger of the enemy in your life, in your finances, whatever represents the finger of the enemy in the life of your children, you walk free from them forever. Yeah. Now, all through this year, sickness and disease will not know your house. Yeah. Every damaged part in your body, they are fully restored to perfection. On July 23rd, 1977, he said, Behold, I've touched your tongue with a coal of fire. And from henceforth, as you say it, you see it. Every closed door to you reopens now. Every closed door to your family, to your children, every closed door to your business, to your career, reopens right now today. But as long as you are on board this flight, whatever suppressed packages God has reserved for this commission, your portion is in it. Yeah. 
Can I pray this prayer over you? Nobody doubts my source. I'm a privileged reflection of my source. I came off the loins of Egan's spiritual tree. It shows. I branch off from Copeland. It shows. I connect to the virtues of here at the and it shows. This year, your connectivity here must show. Your connectivity here must show. Your connectivity here must show. I didn't have to pray to get a wife. Now, in the name of Jesus, the struggle for marriage is over in your life today. We did not cry to have children. Your cry for children is over today. We did not struggle to raise children. Your struggle in raising children is over today. We did not have challenge children. Every challenge around your children's life is over today. I don't know the meaning of struggles. And I'm saying this before the Lord is a testimony of truth. Your struggles for survival, struggles for existence, struggles for advancement is declared over today. This commission has never known a better yesterday. By this anointing coming from this altar, you never record a better yesterday again. Now listen, you shall reap it in due season if you faint not. No more damn time in your spiritual life. No more damn time in your spiritual life. No more damn time in your spiritual life. There shall be no more damn time in your spiritual life. There shall be no more damn time in your spiritual life. There shall be no more damn time in your spiritual life. There shall be no more damn time in your spiritual life. There shall be no more damn time in your spiritual life. There shall be no more damn time in your spiritual life. So shall it be.